So what do China's drills around Taiwan tell us? Our military analyst Sean Bell joins me in the studio. So, Sean, first of all, let's discuss uh, why Taiwan is so important to China. Yeah, good afternoon, Simon. I mean, the South China Sea is at a crossroads, really, of two global maritime routes. It's a link between the Indian and Pacific Oceans. About a third of the global trade runs through this area. Uh, also, in the South China Sea, there are massive oil and gas reserves. Um, they've quoted that 11 billion barrels of oil are in there, and that, by, by reference, that's about 30 years of UK production. It's a huge amount. Now, China's been absolutely building artificial islands all over the place, militarising them in trying to extend their influence there. Uh, the other important thing if we look at the other map, is China's coast uh, next to the South China Sea is actually relatively shallow. It's not really clear on here, but it's about 30 metres deep. China militarily wants to run nuclear submarines. They only work if they are out of sight, out of mind. At the moment, they've got a long transit where they can be seen. If you look at the coastline just off to the east of Taiwan here, it's on the edge of the continental plate and just drops away. So if you were to have a, a nuclear submarine base there, it could operate a lot more effectively. Now, China's always insisted that Taiwan is part of its orbit. It will reunify at some stage. So the question is now, were these drills just a sort of one of these periodic issues that crops up, or is there something slightly more sinister? And given the fact they only gave 45 minutes warning for them. It does appear China's testing Taiwan's um, defensive capability. Yeah, so let's explore that more then. Um, uh, the recent drills follow decades of tension, as, as we've said. Uh, do you think China's any closer then to actually invading Taiwan? It does feel as if the situation is changing slightly. You remember the last time they did these drills was back in August 2022 when Nancy Pelosi uh, famously did that visit to tai Taiwan. But Xi Jinping has been hosting President Putin in a sort of state visit only last week. Um, and um, they've talked about their sort of limitless partnership. Now, Xi Jinping is, wants to change the world order, the US-led world order. That resonates with President Putin. And... Uh, um, and also, China's very interested in how Putin's getting on with the invasion of Ukraine, because although the West has been involved to provide ammunition and weapons, it hasn't directly intervened, and all of that will inform Xi Jinping's judgment about whether to go into Taiwan. Now, it wouldn't all go China's way. China's got some difficult economic challenges at the moment. Wars cost a lot of money, and, of course, undoubtedly, the West would just stop buying uh, any Chinese exports the moment that something like that happened. But China normally plays the long game. Unfortunately, over time, Taiwan's, Taiwan's felt more and more independent. So it feels like time's not on China's side. So China's judgment probably will be the West won't intervene, take about three months to take the islands, and they just live with the consequences. And the trouble is with all of this, it just feels it's more likely now when rather than if China decides to take action against Taiwan. Right. Sean, thank you very much indeed.